Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published 71 YouTube videos covering beginners level, intermediate level and advanced level concepts. From few videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real time scenarios where you might encounter different types of obstacle and how can you solve those obstacles while automating the test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. So this is our lesson 72 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca automation training and this is our obstacle 30 in terms of real time scenarios. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. In this lesson, I am going to teach you how can we solve an obstacle where you need to click an object on the screen based on the screen width by using an inbuilt module within Tricentis Tosca. So now let us go and see in detail what is the obstacle that we need to solve for. So here is our obstacle. The name of obstacle is red stripe which is categorized as easy. Let us go for it. So you can see here click on button label generate and then click on red stripe that appears. The number below the button informs you how far to the right from the edge of screen stripe has appeared. So let us first click on generate button. So now you can see a red line is appeared and this number represents how far this red line is to the right from the edge of your screen. So that means the width of your screen until this red stripe is 62. Let me generate again. So now the width is 25 and this is your remaining 75. Again, now it is 66%. So basically, the red stripe is at the 66% of your width of your screen. Okay, so now we need to click on this red color line. So how can you click on this red color line? That is what we need to automate. So now to automate this scenario, let us go to Tricentis Tosca. So as usual, we are going to capture the test object under obstacles folder. So right click on this obstacles folder, select scan application. So now select the application that you would like to scan and click on scan. So here I don't see the number property here. So now here I don't see the number here. For that let us go to filter and expand the filter. One click still I don't see the number. Another click. Now you can see here the number. See this is your number which is your div element. Let us select this number. You can see here the property of the number is id number you should not select your inner text because this percentage keeps on changing whenever you click on generate button so this is not going to be constant so i am going to select id number tag div right so these two are the elements that i would like to select one and two both of them are uniquely identified okay so now let us name this module as the name of your obstacle. Copy and paste it here. And now save the module and close your X scan. So let us go to Tricentis Tosca. So here now, this is our latest module that we scan this one double click on this now i should see two objects generate button and your number 
So let me rename this as number. So now let us go to our left side section, which is test case section, which is in blue color. So as usual, I'm going to create a new test case under obstacles folder. Right click on this folder, select create test case and name with the same name of your obstacle. Double click on this test case. Now to automate the test case or to automate the scenario, drag this module and drop here. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to name this as generate. Let's do one thing. Click and generate. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to simply click on generate button. As soon as I click on generate button, I have to see what is the percentage of the width where your red stripe will appear. So this is the percentage. What I'm going to do, I'm going to buffer this value into a variable. So here, I'm going to say inner text equal to and store this into a buffer called num. So here, your action mode should be buffer. Right. Now I have stored the buffer and then you need to click on this red button. This red stripe. You need to click on this red stripe. To click on red, to click on red stripe, you have an inbuilt function called, let's go here, right click, search and add this step and type click on screen. So you have a click on screen HTML, right? So this is what you need to select. There is another click on screen here, which is mobile. I don't want to select that one. I want to select click on screen from HTML. Select this one. And here you need to provide caption of the browser or window. What is the caption? You can see Tricentis obstacle. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to enter Tricentis obstacle. Obst obstacle. So I'm going to just enter partial information. I'm going to enter the partial title and then I'm going to use the regular expression. Tricent is OBST and anything it can have, right? So the name is obstacle, very big name. Basically, it has obstacle dot test automation obstacle, right? So I'm just using the regular expression to identify the caption. And then what is your X coordinator and what is your Y coordinator? X means what is your width and what is your height? Or what is your horizontal component? What is your vertical percentage? Or what is your horizontal percentage and what is your vertical percentage? So here I'm going to call the buffer that I have stored here. So for that, curly braces, open curly braces, capital B, and now your buffer name and close curly braces. So here I am specifying that your width is the 56. And what about this vertical coordinator? Do you want me to click on here, 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 where? So probably I can leave this as I can provide any number I want because this vertical, uh, because this stripe is from bottom to top, right? So better I provide the same buffer name number here, the same percentage that I am storing under buffer. I can keep the same or I can specify any number I want. But however, to avoid confusion, I'm entering the same the value that I am storing under buffer. So now let's save this. Let us mark this as completed. So what we have done first by using the module that we captured, I am 
clicking on generate and then immediately I am storing the value that is generated in the buffer and now by using the buffer value I am using an inbuilt click on screen mo X module where I am specifying the caption of your browser and then I am calling the buffer value here so that I can exactly click on that red stripe. Now let's save the test case. Now let us regenerate this and then right click and run in Scratchbook. See now it has regenerated the red stripe and then it clicked on the red stripe. Let me try again, okay? Let me try again. So now there is no red stripe, right? Now let us run this now again. Right click and run in Scratchbook. Now it clicked on generate and then which is 33% per, and then it clicked on red stripe at 33% of the width of the screen. So if you go to your Tricentis Tosca and you can see here the buffer has been stored as 33 and then it is clicking on screen with that 33%. So hope you all understand the concept. If you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. And don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.